Okay, so I'm go I am going to expose a racist on Twitch. Um, he goes by the name American Nacho, and he's a self-described, uh, I guess, libertarian. Um, and he admitted that he voted for Trump, which is already off to a really bad start. Um, so basically, uh, this guy, um, well, it, it was kind of interesting because we initially were discussing like a variety of different topics. Um, and he has like a whole bunch of goons in his discord, I guess, um, who are just like kind of like in the background spouting, you know, babbling. And there's this one idiot in particular who is basically like um, engaging constantly in, in sophistry um, and thinks he is smarter than he actually is um, and invokes double standards constantly. Um, but anyway, um, so this guy's a racist. American Nacho is a racist. And so the first thing I say, well, I say a whole bunch of things, but the first thing I'm going to open with to um, kind of uh, demonstrate that this guy's a racist is I make a very reasonable statement. I say you can establish a person is a racist based upon behavior. That's very reasonable, I think, right? So what does this racist sack of shit say in response to that? Let's see. Establish a person is a racist based on behavior. All right. Well, based on your behavior so far, I think you're a racist. Wow. Based upon my behavior so far. Now, he's saying that facetiously. He's trying to make fun of my argument. Um, geez, what an idiot. What a fucking idiot. Um, and this entire time, I've just been contradicting a lot of the stupid shit that he's been saying in his shitty stream. Um, and he's trying to denigrate uh, the notion that you can establish a person is racist based upon behavior. Now, why would this imbecile um, even question that? Why would they even think that's not a reasonable thing? Well, it's it, apparently him and his goons, his, his flock of goons in his discord, apparently think you can only be a racist if you say um, a racist epithet. Um, wow. Do I even need to explain why that is completely idiotic? Uh, you can be a racist and never say the N-word. Similarly, you can say racist epithets and not be a racist. Yes, that's possible. You see, context and intent matter. They matter completely. But anyway, um, let's jump ahead. Uh, because we begin talking about... Um, basically the um, the incident, which he's going to play, he's going to watch, and he's going to react to it. All right. So let's let's watch a little bit of it. Don't worry, because pretty soon your health care is going to be just like that. Okay, so just to give a little bit of context, so there, this is a, a recent incident where a racist, this guy on the right, is harassing this young man for no reason other than the fact that he's black. And he actually assaults him in the video. And... American Nacho and his racist goons, um, they don't believe that this is this is racist. Um, one of his goons kept on repeating over and over again uh, that, yes, he's an asshole, yes, he's an asshole, yes, he's an asshole, over and over again, uh, but refused to admit that he was a racist just because he didn't use the N-word. That was it. Um, even though the racist in the video uh, says... You don't, you don't belong in this neighborhood. And other clear uh, racist phrases that have been uttered by other racists plenty of times. Anyway, let's keep watching. I'm watching this. Hold on. You walk away. You talking to my wife right now. Walk away. Walk away. Take it out. 
Walk away, or I'm going to carry your ass out. What do you want to do? That's what it feels like. Or what? What are you going to do? Let's go. Walk away. I'm about to do something to you. You better start walking. You better start walking. I mean, is that his property? Now, what did this imbecile say? Is that his property? Look at where they are. They're on the sidewalk. Now, one of the dumb things that him and his goons said previously to all of this is that you can't assume that someone is a racist. Uh, they seem to be hell-bent against ever assuming someone is a racist based upon uh, behavior or the words that they say. Apparently, like the, the only like you have to be able to read someone's mind in order to ever say someone is racist. Um, and previously, this guy generalized the left and painted... The, uh, the entire left with too broad a brush and said that they they call everyone racist, uh, which was one of the dumbest things that the, like one. Of, I mean, this guy said a lot of dumb things, um, but uh, yeah. So clearly, like he he's not the brightest you know bulb in the the pack here. Um, but um, so they they make it very clear that they are very much against assuming making assumptions about racism. But you'll notice very quickly that they make tremendous assumptions about this young gentleman uh, that are very negative. He's going to assume that he's on drugs, and uh, his, one of his goons is going to assume that he did it for money, that he staged this whole thing with no... And they're going to make these assumptions with zero evidence. And of course, this guy is going to assume that he was on private property, even though they are on a fucking sidewalk. That's his house that he's on. His yeah. This guy apparently was fighting with a woman yeah. in a neighborhood in a neighboring yeah. house when they started recording. Yeah. And this guy stepped yeah. in and involved yeah. himself yeah. and they called the cops. Um, you better, you, you want to bet what I can do? Yeah. Okay, right now you're harassing the neighborhood. You smell drunk? I don't know. They both seem like they might be a little drunk. Oh, they both might seem they're a little bit drunk? Are you making assumptions about whether he's intoxicated or not? I don't even know who she is. All I heard was you fighting and her defending herself. I mean, whatever. Come on. Leave her alone. Come on. Leave her alone. How is that racist? How is that racist? That's his first response. Now, let me just see. Okay, so at, at the bottom over here, you can see this guy is also a racist. Dude, 91. Uh, he's trying to say... Uh, it started on his property, and then I say, irrelevant. This is taking place on a sidewalk. I don't care where it started. This is taking place on a sidewalk. You can see the sidewalk in the video, you idiots. That's racist? Yeah, that's racist. I, the guy's an asshole. The guy's an asshole? Like, that's this guy's whole thing. He just repeats he's an asshole over and over again. But he, he, he castigates anyone who makes any assumptions regarding racism. And this is not even an assumption. You can clearly see, based upon the behavior, based upon the words that he's using. You're in the wrong neighborhood? 
I mean, yeah, you know? but I mean, I'd probably be an asshole too, man. If somebody was just up in our neighborhood, like up in our neighborhood. You mean in your white neighborhood? You mean that? I know all every. I know all my neighbors too. Like, I know all my neighbors too. They're all white. That's what American Nacho wants to say, but he's he's reining it in. If somebody was just in front of our house looking like that, looking like they were hot. Looking like that, looking like they're black, is what he's trying to say. These racists, they always you, they always leave out the black part because they know that that'll give them away as racist. And now he's going to make assumptions about him being high, which previously, like I pointed out, they, him and his goon squad constantly admonished and finger waved at anyone who assumed anyone was racist. But then they make assumptions, tremendous assumptions about this young man and whether or not he's doing drugs. Where's your evidence? High on something. High on something. You can't deny that I'm making assumptions. Let's not pretend here. He's picking a fight. Now, you hear the goon in the background? He's picking a fight. He's victim blaming the young man who is being assaulted by that big fucking thug on the right. That fucking asshole. And they're taking his side. They're, they are castigating the young man, the victim. The vic this is called victim blaming. This is what racists constantly do. And the lady was standing right there. I don't think that's a very good example of clear racism. Of course you wouldn't think that's an example of clear racism because you're a racist yourself. Okay. If if he was like saying like cussing him saying like you n word this you n word that then after you see that the standard for their proof of what requires what is required to be a racist is saying the n word. No, no, you stupid fucking idiot. You can be a racist and never say the N-word. Just look at Tucker Carlson. Look at anyone on Fox News. Filled with racists, they never say the N-word. And like I said, you can say the N-word and not be a racist. Content and intent matter. Absolutely, I'm going to be in your corner like, yeah, this, <laughs> yeah, this guy's right. a scumbag. But yeah, hey, this guy's a scumbag. Howard... Wait a minute, I, th I thought he was an asshole. What happened to that? I don't have any evidence to prove that that's racism. Of course not, because you're a racist well, yeah, yourself. The kid lives in, in the neighborhood, but that doesn't mean he can be an asshole. You know, he lives... Wait a minute. He admits that the kid lives in the neighborhood, and then he's calling him an asshole? And not the thug on the right who assaulted the young man? Holy shit. These racist scumbags. The amount of victim blaming is insane. Even if... Even if the kid lives matter. in the neighborhood, even if the dude lives in the neighborhood, okay, it's his fault for being so fucking high on whatever he was. Wow. Wow. Talk about victim blaming. Even if he, that is his, his, his neighborhood. He's assuming he's high with no evidence when he previously was castigating others for assuming racism ever. Fucking hypocrites. High on. That he can't even remember where he lived because the dude asked him, where do you live? I live in this neighborhood. Okay, where? And he's like... Interesting. Interesting how, first of all, he doesn't have to say where he lives. No one has to say where they live to some racist, random piece of shit. Secondly, the young man asked the thug, how long have you lived here for? And he wouldn't answer. Interesting. Interesting how one-sided they are. It's it's almost if they are racist themselves. Oh yeah, they are. Did I mention that this guy admitted that he voted for Trump? Bro. Bro. <laughs> he looked he looked like Ico rules tonight. Okay, Ico drools, aka as was named by the chat. Literally just came into the into the into the conversation like uh. Well, I don't really know anything about this. Don't ask Bill Cates, so you're but... right. He doesn't have to tell him where he lives, but that's still not the point. If you're picking a fight with a neighbor and a guy... I can agree. Look, 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 I can... So, in the background, you can hear one of his goons, like, talking about picking a fight. What victim blaming? This, this goon is such a victim blamer and constantly makes assumptions. 
I'm probably not going to show it here, but he later on makes assumptions about the young man's motives, implying that he was looking to start a fight uh, and looking to do this just for, like, to get, like, to go viral and to make money. And previously, he was saying you can't ever assume someone's a racist. You can't ever, you can't ever assume that. You can't ever assume. Like, he has, like, some, some kind of weird fucking Poindexter voice trying to, like, I guess, like, he's, like, a, a geek and he's angry because uh, black people beat him up. Uh, when he was in school or something. You can't ever assume that someone is a racist. But I'm going to assume that he did it for money. He was looking to start a fight. I'm going to make tremendous amounts of assumptions about the young man. Who I'm going to... I'm not going to call him the N-word because that will prove them a racist. But yeah, I, know. I can agree that he was probably a, a little bit of a dick. But also... Okay, a little bit of a dick. So he's describing the thug on the right. The, the thug on the right who was assaulting the young man. Now, look, I don't care. I don't care what what he, he, he was doing there. I don't care if he lived in the neighborhood or not. I care about the fact that this guy was assaulting him and told him to get out of the neighborhood clearly because he's a racist piece of shit. That's what I care about. Oh, he was standing in front of his own house. He's on his own property saying... Christ That's a lie. That's a lie. He was not on his property. We already pointed out that he, he was stand, they were standing on his side. That's how stupid they are. That's how stupid they are. They look at the video and they see they're on the sidewalk and he's talking about being on private property. You moron. You imbecile. For someone else to get the hell on, like keep it moving, that could have been some other, it could have been anybody. Yeah, he doesn't have to go anywhere, by the way. That's public property. He could stand there. All day, all day long, check the laws. You can stand on public property and just stand there. You don't have to follow orders from some racist hick. Are you kidding me? I feel, if it was anybody, even my own neighbors, if my neighbor, who I know, was out there standing right in between our cars in front of my, like, land, like talking like just talking and having like just out there with nobody else for like 30 minutes 15 minutes yeah um that's legal guess what that's legal you idiot someone can stand on public property for 30 40 50 an hour two hours 24 hours it's legal that's called public property it's a sidewalk, you idiot. And it's even, I'd be like, bro, what are you doing? Out what are you doing? Cars, out in front of my house. What like, are you doing on moving. my property, what on the go, sidewalk? Go figure something out. Like, go figure go something out, go on the sidewalk. Sidewalks are public property, but anyone who's just loitering is... Wow, you hear the goon in the background? Sidewalks are public property, but... And then he proceeds to contra contradict himself. No, there are no buts, you idiot. It's public property. He has every right to be there. You stupid goon. Anyway, they're babbling more and more. I just wanted to expose this guy. Um, he's a complete idiot. I'm like, jeez. Holy shit. This is what the. This is what this guy's channel looks like. Um, so, this guy is on. Twitch. I'm going to post a link to his Twitch channel. Uh, if he has a YouTube channel, I'm going to post that in the description as well, so you know that this guy is a racist, and make sure to report his channel, because racists need to be banned off of social media. This guy is a complete scumbag who is defending racists, constantly signaling to other racists, too. All right. See you later, guys.